So the next textbook I'll be reviewing now is Last Anatomy. Okay, so Last Anatomy is also quite popular among um, students, medical students. But then, hmm, she, if you are if you are reading Last Anatomy, you are boss. I'm telling you, you are boss. Because I only go for Last Anatomy if I just need silent point. Because the textbook has nerve silent point. Okay, for example, in my first um, um, review of BDC, that's BD Cherusia, I made mention of um, the callus muscle being a hybrid muscle. It was actually last that I found it. Yes. So last has subtle points. And if you are this type of person that prepares for MCQ, last anatomy is a very good test because it has MCQ, like it has points, MCQ points that you need to know. And another thing is that last anatomy is very handy. It's very, very handy. It's just very, very small. In fact, it's, it's very, very small. And then probably that's why it's called last. Last and last. When you, when you finish that small book, you're done with anything anatomy. Yes, it also has new anatomy and the regional's anatomy, the regional part of anatomy, the upper limb, the lower limb, all are in last anatomy. So it's very, very handy. But I will not recommend last if you are going to be writing essays. Yes, I'm striking it now. And I will never recommend last if you are just a starter of human anatomy, like you're just starting up human anatomy and you are carrying last. Who you want to impress? Oshie, please don't try it. Last will make you to hate anatomy for last, for, for life. Please and um, please. You have to actually build, I feel, that's my own review. You have to actually build ground with some of these simpler things, but probably you just a vision I'm saying, or be the challenge or get more before referring to last anatomy. So guys, last anatomy uh, to me are mainly for surgeons. Yes. People that are that are, that are, that are um, doing surgical anatomy. Yes, that is what I feel. So um, yes, students can use it, but then like I always tell you, please, I always advise that you shouldn't use it if you're writing your essays. It's not a plan at all. And the pictures are the worst pictures I have ever come across in anatomy textbook. You won't even understand the pictures there. Yes. Please. So if you are going to be using last anatomy, always run to your atlas. Yes, very, very important. The pictures are not something you can actually replicate in the exam. I don't know if you get my point. And one sweet thing about it is that it also has clinical applications, clinical notes, clinical correlates. And usually normally call it surgical approach, right? Surgical approach, yes. So those things are part of your clinical correlates. And then that's what you can find in last. So, so far, so good. Last is brief, is is very de detailed and summarized. It's let me just say it's concise. In as much as there are um, things that you need to know um, for your essays that are not found in last to understand. But then for MCQs, it has more of this silent point. I don't know if you get my point. So there are um, um, MCQ um, questions I can come across that I've never seen in other things with our own to last to look out for it and then lo and behold is there. All right. So, but then don't use last like I rightly said when you are preparing for an essay type of question. All right. So that is about last. So we are going over to the next review. 